Base. This is Boss from Wise Words Media back at y'all for another round. And wow, the life of a Jet fan. <sighs> Goodness gracious. I mean, Aaron Rodgers comes from his darkness retreat, decided that he was going to give football another chance, decided that his best fit would be with the New York Jets. And Jets fans everywhere went crazy, you know. The biggest Jet fan in all of media, or at least the most vocal of them all, just so happens to have his own TV show, Mike Greenberg. His get-up show became the Aaron Rodgers Report. Every day, Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers. And it wasn't just there. It didn't stop there. It was all over. Aaron Rodgers and the Jets. Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers. HBO signed them to the Hard Knocks show. It was all Aaron Rodgers, all Jets, all summer. And here it is. The moment Jet fans have been waiting for all summer patiently. Game one at home against division rival Buffalo Bills. Dramatic entrance with Aaron Rodgers carrying the flag. And in just four snaps, four plays, it's over. You can't script this. You can't make this up. You cannot script this. I mean, wow. This this was this was the this was just like the epitome of what it is to be a Jet fan. Uh, where do where do the Jets go from here? Well, they have a couple people that. They may want to ring, ring up to come through. Number one person they should call right now, they should be on the horn with, is Tom Brady. Won't that be something for irony, right? Tom Brady, a man that made his living torturing the Jets, torturing them. And after what, 19, well, maybe like 17 of his 20 years destroying the Jets, he puts on a Jets uniform to try to help them win a, a Super Bowl. That would make for quite an interesting story. And you know Tom is competitive. He always has that itch. So that's a possibility. Now, as far as like current guys out there, you know, you got your Teddy Bridgewaters. Who, tre who Bridgewater, in a short sample serving uh, a, a few years ago when they... Uh, Right before they drafted Sam Donald, they had picked him up. And he was good, man. He was good. You know, Jeff fans liked him. So, might be somebody that, you know, familiar face you might want to bring back. But I think overall what the Jets are going to do is they're going to stick with Zach Wilson. The Zach attack is back. However, this time around, it might be slightly different because... You have an additional offensive coordinator on the sidelines in Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers has brought all in. He brought all in to the Jets. He was completely entrenched in the moment. He went, you've seen him at Nick Games. You've seen him at um, Taylor Swift concerts and all that. Like wherever the action was at in New York, Aaron Rodgers was there waving, taking pictures. And he just, he, he really, he even showed up to OTAs, something that he stopped doing in Green Bay. So he really was committed. He really wanted to show that he wanted to be a part of this organization, help this franchise, win another Super Bowl. But unfortunately, he couldn't do it as a player because um, it has just been confirmed that he has a torn Achilles. So at least for this year, he can't do it as a player, but maybe he could do it on the sidelines, helping young Zach Wilson mature. Because what Zach Wilson needs to do first and foremost is stop the theatrics. He needs to stop trying to be the second coming of Aaron Rodgers, throwing off his back foot and running around. Like He needs to stop all that. Some real core fundamental football will help that young man go a long way. 
especially that he got the right people in his ear right now, as in Aaron Rodgers, who is a mastermind. He's a genius when it comes to football, especially the quarterback position. So you have somebody like that on your side, that can help that young man mature. And right now we just saw, we just got to be realistic. The Jets, Super Bowl, um, aspirations have deflated. It's gone. Will Aaron Rodgers be back next year? That's very doubtful because in the infamous words of Charles Barkley, old people, they don't get healthy. They die. So at 40 years old, to recover from a devastating injury like an Achilles tear, that that's very seldomly done, especially at 40 years old. It's it's rare you're gonna see something like that happen. So Jets really gotta start thinking about life without Aaron. And you know, maybe maybe even a Matthew Stafford trade. Try to get Matthew Stafford in here because Matthew Stafford I'm sure is not gonna be happy with what's going on over there in LA with that um well, the Jets have a bad offensive, offensive line too, but at least the Jets have some weapons. Over there in LA, Cooper Cup has not played much, so he's out there by himself, like he was in Detroit. So maybe LA can do the right thing by him. I mean, after all, he did get them their first championship, or their, you know, the, their recent championship, so as the LA Rams, so he should um they should do the right thing if he wants to go to the jets let him go to the jets mission was accomplished he got them the ring and you know maybe that'll be a good fit but right now it looks like it's all zach wilson and zach just needs to play conservative you know watch some chad pennington films because that's how pennington was Pennington wasn't going to try to go for the theatrics, throwing across his body, bombing it 40, 50 yards. Nah, it was short, accurate passing, moving the chains. And with that dynamic running game that they have right now, with Brees Hall and um, Dalvin Cook, they could probably even make the playoffs. But he needs to stop, cut out the theatrics, short passing. I love Pennington. I'm Wise for Wise Words Media. Peace.